All right. Uh, welcome back to Cornzilla, where I want to put in a substitute, as we were talking about that before we started here, so I don't have to watch this movie, because I've watched it before. I mean, it can't be worse than Raids Again. You are correct. It is not worse than that. I had the... Considering how much being with someone else amplifies an experience and how shit of a time I had with Raids Again, yeah, no, this isn't going to be nearly as bad. Um... But yeah, it's Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. Ghidorah's... I assume Ghidorah's first movie. I think so. It's not a good debut for the for what I thought was one of Godzilla's coolest... Uh, Rivals? Yeah. Other yeah. than, like, Mothra. But Mothra becomes, like, a buddy, sort of. Yeah, Mothra becomes, like, his date to the prom. I don't want to take Larval Mothra anywhere, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but it's got wheels. You can use it like a roller skate. <laughs> well, we're going to get to see a whole lot of Larval Mothra in this one. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. That's one unfortunate. One of the one of the Larval Mothras is going to help fight Ghidorah. This is is also... this the one where Angers comes back? Nope. We're going to see Rodan. Rodan. Mm, I don't want to see Rodan. I don't either, but um, we're going to have to deal with it. So, yeah. Uh, Ghidorah is from... Somewhere in outer space, I don't remember, but I know that he ruined the planet of Venus. Is it this Ghidorah or the next Ghidorah that did that? It's this Ghidorah. Okay. Not 90% sure that it's this Ghidorah. Because <laughs> there's there's two Ghidorahs in the original Shoah series. Somehow. Yeah, well, I know this one causes global warming. Mm. I know that because I remember that as a plot point. Gotcha. Um... I don't remember if the lightning's any good. It's gravity. Well, he shoots gravity beams. Yeah, I don't fucking care. It's not lightning. I swear. It's lightning in the new series, so I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah. Uh, the art in this book is going is so much better than this fucking movie. <laughs> I am sad that I will have to watch it again, but hopefully, I will find something worth my time because unfortunately when i went to watch it i thought i was going to get the good one from a the not showa era the hey, so. yeah i thought i was going to get that one no i was i was sorely mistaken but yeah um i hope you're excited for human hijinks because they happen Ugh, i don't want to see humans I mean, I see John okay. Well, it depends on the quality of the humans. We got we got some good ones, and we're not going to get another Eggman. No, we're not. We're not going to get. We're not going to get an Eggman level character. Probably until like verse Kiryu or Con yeah. You mean against Mechagodzilla? Well, but the one that's called Kiryu. Then they yeah, call that, it Kiryu. That, that's Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Why did they just call it Mechagodzilla when it's clearly a different one? Because this is the third Mechagodzilla, who's actually the fourth one. Anyway. But we don't get to see him until, like, 40 years from now. Great. I don't know when this movie came out. Probably, like, same 67. Year. It's the same year. 64? 64. Same yeah, year so about Mothra. 40 years. <laughs> Great. Because, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, Moth, um, uh, I don't know. I don't have much else to say, like, the Ghidorah costume's impressive for the time, I guess. It's unfortunate that I've already seen this one, so I'm coming in with already set expectations. But, um, it was not a fun watch when I watched it. So, or at least it, it wasn't that entertaining. Mm. We'll see. This one has the, the... The frickin' fairies singing the Mothra song, the one I can't stand. Mmm. Mmm, that's gonna be fun to listen to. Yeah. Alright, well, let's get to it. I think we've done enough rambling. Alright, we'll see you in approximately 90 minutes. Yep. Our time. Okay, um... Better than you remember? About the same? About the same. Mm. Mm. It wasn't... I'm remembering it, like, it, it was mostly the disappointment that it wasn't the movie I was hoping for, uh, that kind of made the movie suck more in my head than it did, but nothing was, like, better than I remembered it. 
it was all fairly dumb and uh yeah we uh we beat Ghidorah didn't kill him definitely didn't just kind of let him leave you we, know we let scourge the, of planets we let the villain we let the villain walk away and we wonder why he returns i mean surely he must have learned his lesson right he got clowned on by by three of the biggest clowns in Godzilla at this moment. Oh my god! I mean, all right. I mean, l l to be fair, well, no, even well, Mothra, Larva Mothra wasn't going to be able to take Ghidorah. Let's not even let's not even pretend like that fight was going to mean anything. Yeah, especially how uh, Mothra got like thrown around. <sighs> It was good to see the Mothra, the Mothra, the larval Mothra model get, like, just blasted. It was a good time. I had fun. Yeah. Um, we didn't get the two toys smack, like, the the two toys from Godzilla, ver or Mothra vs. Godzilla. We didn't get that level of fighting, but a lot of the airborne-based fighting between Rodan and Godzilla was awful. Yeah. Yeah, it, it wasn't great. Just pecking him on the head. Yeah, you know, just hovering in place and, and just noodle necking. Yep, nope, it's great. Speaking of noodle necking, though, Ghidorah, triple noodle. -necking. Just fuck. It's it's the it's the wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man of monsters. Well, yeah, just, they, they had the, to do that with piano wire and everything. It's hard to control just, that kind of noise. Just flopping all over the place, shooting light, shooting gravity beams in random directions because fuck it all. Well, you see, Ghidorah's just here to destroy. He doesn't care what he destroys as long as it's destroyed. Oh, it's so wonderful. I, I don't know. Like, I'm torn between, like, really, it, like, God, like, I think I think the only good move Godzilla ever did was basically a power bomb to Rodan. Yeah. Other than that, he spent the entire movie chucking rocks and kicking rocks. Oh, and occasionally just, breathing. Just, Godzilla has become rock type. Godzilla has transformed into Tyranitar and is using rock throw. And nothing but rock throw. Luckily, his two main opponents are flying type. Yeah. Thus, he is doing damage. Well, I'm doing enough. No, I mean, at one point they started playing tennis. Volleyball. Either way. And then the rock changed size. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> they couldn't even use the same rock. Oh, was dumb. It was really dumb. And Moth was just sitting there like, this is... Why is this happening? And just, like, looking back and forth, like... Anyone else seen how stupid this is? It's looking pretty stupid. I, re I really wish we could have got a shot of, like, like a full body shot of them, like, passing the rock back and forth. That would have been nice. Like, just, well, but but it was clear that they weren't able to actually yeah. throw it. I mean, like, it, yeah, like, they weren't doing that, but it would be nice if somehow they managed to to get that to work. It would have been great. But, um, yeah, so, the human plot was... There was a lady from Venus. Yeah, and then she the, may or may not have been possessing another lady. Yeah, and there was a cop and a reporter lady, or maybe she worked for a magazine. I don't know. I mean, it's mm, mm. it's unclear. She did say broadcasting, so ah, man, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, so and there were a bunch of crazy people talking about brainwaves and like blaming non-believer reporters for why they didn't see ufos only for ufos to show up even though i the, the, none of those ufos amounted to anything well one of them was a meteor well i think they said they were just meteors and then that it became Ghidorah, who was basically just the mar the the mothra egg recycled uh but with magnetism magnetism or i'm pretty sure it was gravity because it was sucking up rocks too although i guess you could make the argument that there was iron in the rocks or whatever but yeah, um, um, hmm. There was also the, uh, the assassins. Yes, uh, the, the wonderful, uh, Renaissance Empire assassins. Or the one assassin with the random Yakuza goons. Look, one of them was really good at lockpicking. 
with his magic fingers, <laughs> which had nothing to do, for the most part, with him using the lockpick, but whatever. Um, Gotta warm him up. Can't lockpick with cold fingers. So dumb. Uh, but yeah, uh, we got the God Awful Mothra song. Twice. Twice. Both times, just as unbearable. Mainly because they just went on too long. Yeah. Because we had to watch the whole process. Um, and then the second time it was just, hey, we got some footage we showed them earlier, let's just show it again. Except this time without superimposing images on some of it. Yeah. Um, hmm. They killed an, They killed one of the Mothra larvae larva off, off screen. Yeah, she just died. We don't know what happened. Just, well, you know, it's a lot of you're dead. Yep. Just, just gone. Even though none of them got hit by Godzilla at all. Well, you see, uh, no, I was going to say Rodan got one, but no, but Rodan was hiding in a volcano? Uh, apparently a dead volcano, but yeah. Um, and it wasn't doing a very good job of hiding in it. Like it was, he was his, kind of exposed. His talons were out. It's not great. A lot of a lot of weird arm movements just a lot of weird movement from everyone involved so a lot of like wave like waving the arms a little weird just like aggressively making strange arm motions at each other well you know it was like uh, they were pepping themselves up guys it was like yeah i threw a rock and it hit somebody <laughs> finally after 20 years it feels like there's so much less to say about this one. I mean, it basically devolves into, uh, you know, Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra teaming up to fight uh, Ghidorah. Yeah, that's right. We had to have the negotiations between the three monsters. With Mothra just, like, we're <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking Godzilla's like, you guys are always bullying us. It's like, <laughs> what are you, oh my god. And then he demanded that Rodan apologize to and him. And Rodan demanded that Godzilla apologize. And then Godzilla blew Rod steam in his face. And it was... I, I think Rodan may have been the one who actually started the initial conflict between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Well, he, no, because he just he was just around. Oh, right, he was flying and Godzilla yeah. got mad at no, him. Like, like, he saw Mothra. You fucker, you can fly or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh... Uh, a lot of really dumb psychological stuff going on. They were still using shock therapy, which is actually still used in one very specific instance. I can't remember exactly what it's for. There is one thing in which it helps with now. It's when you're possessed by a ghost. No. But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Lady from Venus. Very stoic. Oh, just a robot. The best acting. Didn't move her arms while walking. Nope, just, just freaking locked to her sides. Completely robotic. 10 out of 10. Um, speaking of 10 out of 10, that plane. That was a really good... Uh, that... A really good shot. That was worth it. And then the ship was in, was sad. Yeah. Not Not anywhere close to... The ship explosion we got in '54. Oh, there's that. They had a decade to improve on it. <laughs> there's that one shot before that though, where it's like, "Ah, oh, look whales," and then it just pans over. Ah, oh, look Godzilla, <laughs> <laughs> right next to the whales. What was even better is that we got the scene that we were constantly cheering for in the earlier movies, where the port of boats started exploding, <laughs> and we didn't even comment on it, mainly because it was just they just lit on fire. But, I don't know, it just, I I don't think we could, could really comprehend what was going on. Because ships were just exploding, and it just felt like another random element. It, like, it, this movie was really chaotic. Yeah. I think it had maybe too, too many monsters. A little bit. And, like, the Godzilla versus, like, I mean, the fight was about as set up as Godzilla versus Ang... Angerus? I think it's the right monster. Reads uh, again. Yeah. yeah. Angerus. Yeah. It, it, it had about as much um, 
as much setup and justification. It's just another monster exists, must fight. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's pretty dumb. Uh, both suits look embarrassing. I mean, it's nothing compared to Bamalar, which I showed you. <laughs> which is made by the same company. I mean, it... Yeah, it, it looked like Godzilla had googly eyes the entire movie. Which I think he might have. So did Rodan. Yeah. It wasn't great. And the way they move, it's just not a good time, but it's also the 60s, so whatever. Um, there, there was a shot of Rodan late in the movie when he's fighting the door, and it just looked like his neck was, like, scrunched up. Well, probably that was probably the human suit. Like, they, they had retracted his neck in, mm -hmm. and he kind of looked like he was turtling, and it was really not pleasant to look at. Yep. No. It Like, any time it was the human in the suit for Rodan, it was just like... He had to waddle around like a man with his pants around his legs. Because <laughs> his legs had to be short in order for the rest of it to work. So. You, you think this would have been better if we had watched the Rodan movie before going into this one? No. Learning the lore of Rodan? No. I don't think it would have improved anything. I don't think the lore of Rodan would have... Like, because the only thing we learn about Rodan is that yeah, beating his wings causes really fast air. It's like, yeah, that happens with any monster with wings. Ghidorah did it too. It's not special. Yeah, sort of Mothra. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, we, we could have learned like why Rodan was hanging out in the volcano. Do you think he got blown up by the military? Do you think he was also bullied by the humans? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... For being too different? Oh, I mean, it's just a giant pterodactyl. Rodan wanted peace, and the humans didn't want that. I mean, the only thing we don't know is if Rodan also suffers from PTSD. <laughs> like Godzilla. Don't flash lights at Godzilla. It's not a good time. Man, can you believe Rodan was one of the big three? You, hmm. In the 60s, he was one of the big three. It was him, Godzilla, and Mothra. Well, now we got Ghidorah in the mix. Ghidorah is stronger than any of them. Yeah. Because they can't fight him alone. Hell, may yeah, even combined, he might be stronger. Because, like, like we said, he just left. Yeah. No, he, he got webbed and left. Oh, God. The freaking the freaking webbing of Godzilla and Rodan. And Rodan just looks sticky. Yeah. It's they, really gross. He had a few webs between his neck and his wings, but most of the part, he was just wet. It was so weird. He got the non-formed web. It's it, it was just Mothra a, used all of it on uh, all, all the formed webs on on Godzilla. I guess so. And then Rodan got the juices. I don't know why Rodan had to get hit with the slime instead <laughs> of the web. It's so awkward. It's almost like the freaking webbing like reacted with his suit material or something. But they should have been made out of the same crap. You'd think so, but I don't know. Um. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong image. That's why I'm getting confused. But yeah, um... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to fill for time, which is what a lot of this movie was doing. Well, we're at 15 minutes, so I mean, we probably these... don't need to stall any longer. Well, but normally <laughs> these last about 20, 25. I, yeah. I think that's a reasonable length. And we're already at 20 minutes because of our free Oh, movie. right, right, Remember, right. this is the second This is part the of second <laughs> recording. I forget that every time. Um, <laughs> Don't make me have to play as King Ghidorah and fucking Godzilla 2 on 15 more than I have to. Oh, boy. Um, Except I'll probably play more as Rodan. There'll be Rodan footage here. That'll work. Hear that future, Jacob? Rodan footage right here. Rodan. All Father Rodan. If only. Fucking, fucking Rodan from uh, Bayonetta is way cooler than Rodan. <laughs> yeah, but he he's not a big old pterodactyl who lives in a volcano. He's no. Just, but... He's just a human who lives in a volcano. <laughs> Isn't he basically the devil? I think so. Yeah, cause... We're getting into spoiler territory for a game that I never got to see that part of. No. Well, um... Okay. Uh, 
Where is it? Isn't his name Rodin anyway? Like, with an I? I thought it was spelled the same. Well, I'll look it up. Or quick. maybe they joke. Or maybe the people who pronounce it are jokingly calling him Rodan because of the monster. I don't remember. Yeah, it's with an I. Oh, well. Okay, then he's Rodan. Yeah. Lame. He's like a Ronin. I get it. Except he, that definitely doesn't describe him at all. No, that's not as tall yet. Anyway. Alright, I'm I'm putting together the I'm putting together the sheet. Quote unquote. Um uh, Okay. Um So Monster Combat. Uh let's see. What did we give uh Mothra? Six. Uh, this is probably in the same ballpark. Yeah. Eh. Mm. It was all wind attacks and rock throws. That is true. We had the one power bomb. It was all wind attacks. Yeah, it was the only time in the entire series of combat that I wasn't laughing or deriding was the power bomb. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, that's an actual move. And then the rest of it was just really dumb. So, yeah, I think a six is more than fine. Um, visual effects, I think there was a marked improvement. Was there? I mean, they had super, well, or maybe they just avoided a lot of superimposed images. They, they had, like, two shots that I can think of. They stopped using fake humans except when they had to do it for the, for the the fairies yeah so i, I i'm <laughs> glad well, they stopped that shot was great he just pulled back boom dolls yep <laughs> um i mean seven for mothra versus godzilla which is surprisingly high i think a seven is just as fine here yeah because unfortunately there was a <clears throat> lot of stock footage that's like not even worth talking about um Okay, the best anything's gotten for plot was 54 with a 7. After that, I think King Kong vs. Godzilla got a 5. Um, so the plot of this one, there's... G Ghidorah shows up, lady's trying to warn the world about Ghidorah, Mafia doesn't want her to warn the world about Ghidorah. Well, it's, it's her home country that's trying to kill her off for reasons that are not stated. Yeah... I mean, uh, and th then... there's the speculation from the cop that it's political enemies, but it's never directly stated why she needs to die. And, and, and so we don't know if they're like Cult of Ghidorah or something. <sighs> I don't think they would be if they're also from Venus, you know, that planet that Ghidorah destroyed. I don't think they're, I don't think any of them are from Venus. Because the princess wasn't even awakened to her Venusian whatever until the Flash of Light. Sure. So, yeah. Um, and then Mothra's like, yo, uh, Ghidorah, I know about that thing already. We, we need to team up. And then they teamed up. Yeah. That was the plot. I'm willing to give it... It feels like King Kong plot. <laughs> it feels like... That was a five. It, uh, it feels Moth roughly the same as King Kong. Mothra plot. vs. Godzilla was a four. I don't know, I... I... I, I don't think it was as good. I don't think it was as cohesive as King Kong vs. Godzilla. Yeah, I'd probably give this one a 4, too. Yep. Okay, um, the acting? <sighs> I want to say that the Yakuza members, especially the guy with the, the lockpick master, mm, yeah, it is. I think he was really good. No, no totally, totally amazing. Um, uh... But a lot of sixes as far as acting. We got, um, yeah, 54 and Mothra had si got sixes. We didn't have an Eggman to cheer for, uh, but... We had a whole bunch of people who continually reached into their pockets oh, and we no, thought we there was going to be an Eggman. We, needed, we wanted an egg really badly, but it just wasn't going to happen. Um, 
I don't even remember if we gave the acting a boost because of Eggman. I feel like we did. <laughs> Probably did. Um, I mean, King Kong vs. Godzilla was at a 5. I do think it was better than King Kong vs. Godzilla. I mean, they were certainly more believable than that one guy. Yeah. Uh, 6? Sure. Alright, so that puts us at... 13, 17, Isn't this 20, the same three. scores we gave Mothra? No. Okay. Uh, wait... Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's exactly the same. I mean, to be fair, they kind of feel like they're the same quality. Yeah, they're filming. Except we're not going to give this one bonus points because Eggman. No, we're going to give it bonus points probably because... Nothing was egregious enough to take away points. Yeah. Um, yeah nothing super racist. Um, In fact, I think they might have dialed that one back a little bit. Thank God. Uh, I mean, the plane exploding was hilarious. Uh... But then the the resulting, uh, we got our ship explosions and they were just not up to snuff. Uh, yeah, they, they they must not have been because I don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah, I know we were so enthralled with the human plot that we missed the fact that an entire port of ships started exploding, <laughs> even be mainly because it came out of nowhere and it just didn't make any fucking sense. But um, that plane explosion. Maybe a two. It wasn't an Eggman moment. It definitely wasn't like the the ship exploding either by Aura. Oh, that was. It was. It, it was. The main thing was the surprise factor. And while there, I mean, there there kind of was surprise factor because we weren't ready for how the plane was going to explode. It exploded like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> like it just popped. It was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, no, it definitely wasn't that that ship from the first one. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say a two, which yeah. would bring us up to twenty five, uh, which puts it, I believe, at number two. That doesn't feel right. It doesn't, but like, it was essentially. It felt to me like we were watching a continuation of the Mothra movie. Yeah. Which... So I'm I'm guessing that's why it got the same scores. Yeah, yeah. It, it. I mean, it was, it, it was basically filmed at the same, it, within the same time period, and clearly reuse. Like, they reused actors, some of them in very similar roles, um, some of them in completely different roles, which was very awkward. Uh, Sarazawa made a return. We think. It. It looks so much like it. He's such a unique face. I can look it up again. <laughs> uh. Well, actually, I can look up some of this cast. Um, yeah, Hiroshi Koizumi was the professor in both. Huh. Would you like to know their names? They're anagrams of each other. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Mira versus Mirai. They're literally anagrams of each other. I like to assume they didn't think that far ahead. They just kind of like... Yeah, they just, just they, shuffle it around. We're going to use the same guy. It's I fine. just think they made a typo somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let me get back to... I remember his name was Akihiko. Um, uh, Akihiko Hirata. Just so we can know if he's a continuing, reoccurring character in the Godzilla verse, at least in the show era. Oh, I already see him, Chief Detective Okita, Akihiko Harada. It's him. Hmm. I mean, I guess with a face that handsome, you don't. It's so unique. You don't forget. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Would cool. You... He's coming back in another movie. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, don't spoil it for me. Um, would you like to know what the technical term for the Mothra Fairies is? Because I just saw it on here. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> this can only be bad. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, I'm, I'm sitting down. Small beauties. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It really is. That should be points off. <laughs> yes. I mean, i <laughs> But, to be fair, they're called the same thing in Mothra vs. Godzilla. I just didn't look at it. Mm, dang. Yeah. <laughs> you win this time, Toho. They are literally sisters, though. 
they don't look like sisters, so they're not, uh, they're not twins. But any, well, I mean, I guess they could be twins. They would just have to be a different kind of twin. Uh, all right, so 25, uh, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, is... Yo, what's this oh, Godzilla, no, King of the Monsters, 1956? Did we, did we miss that one? Is that one that just what? Oh, this might this is the uh, is the is it the American this is version? the American one? Okay, okay, all right. Because well, I was really confused. I'm like, did we miss it? How did we miss it? That would have been a problem. All right. Well, uh, we're breaking past half an hour at this point. So oh, cool. He's in another giant monster movie that we're not gonna watch. Good shit. Yeah, because after this, uh, should. No, I don't. I feel like this is the wrong time. I already have planned what we're gonna do after we finish the Godzilla movies. Um, God forbid they start making new ones, as we can. Uh, like they won't make a new one before we finish, so that won't be a problem. But man, those feature length ones are gonna be a bitch. Yeah. Once we hit. Um, Oh, Jesus, he's in so many, <laughs> so many giant monster movies that we're not going to get to see. Well, yeah, because he's probably employed by Toho. He's an Ultraman. Hell yeah. <laughs> I want to see him. Uh, crap, that might have just given away what my plans are for after this. But, um, Did it? Would, would you believe that I found... Po he's in multiple Ultramans. Nice. Even the TV show. Well, because he's to Toho makes Ultraman. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. He's no. also in the war in space. Freaking cool. He's in Space Horse. Great. Okay, you were saying? Um, well, I was just trying to wrap it up because oh. we're breaking past half an hour by this point. So, um, yeah. So, number two, a movie that I – honestly, I, I hated it because it wasn't the movie I hoped it was. It's fine. I would personally – prefer 54 over this but it's just it's the monster combat that's literally yeah that's that's literally what keeps bringing these movies up so um yeah um we'll see you guys for the sequel <laughs> nice <laughs> they're all sequels uh, until we get to 84 uh I don't know. I don't know if Ibria Horror of the Deep is a sequel to Invasion of the Astro Monster. No, it is. Um, All of it is. Mm, I don't like Ibria. That's not looking good. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. See ya.